imagine yourself standing on a podium and winning a medal for India. But what if you are not that physically fit to represent India in Olympics or any other sport? But you are good in mathematics or any subject. Then there is a chance for you to represent India at the international level. Today, I am going to talk about a very, very important examination, International Mathematics Olympiad and its first stage, IOQM. IOQM, Indian Olympiad Qualifier for Mathematics, is the first stage to represent India at the international level. So, let's talk about the IOQM examination. In this video, I will be covering each and every detail for all the learners who are in class 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th. Although it is not advised to 11th and 12th learners to take up this examination because it may hamper your JE preparation or ISI preparation, but it is highly advisable for class 8th, 9th and 10th students to follow this examination. So what is IOQ and what are all benefits of giving this examination? Let's talk about that. So IOQM, as the name suggests, stands for Indian Olympiad Qualifier in Mathematics. It is a national level examination organized by the Homi Bhabha Center for Science Education on behalf of National Board for Higher Mathematics. As you can see, this is a government-backed examination and thus its value is very high. It is one of the standard examinations which can be given by the students who are looking for some achievements at the international or national level. The IOQM is the first stage of the selection process for the International Mathematics Olympiad and the other international Olympiads in mathematics. So, like, just like there are national bodies for selections in different sports, there is a body known as HBCSC which selects students to represent India for different subjects. IOQM is the only examination which leads to participation at international level. What are the international Olympiads? International Mathematics Olympiad is obviously is one of those examinations. Then there is EGMO for girls, European Girls Mathematics Olympiad. And then there is APMO, Asia Pacific Mathematics Olympiad. All these examinations are of international nature and it is a matter of great prestige for anyone to appear in these examinations on behalf of India. And IUQM is the first stage for all of these examinations. The IUQM is open to all Indian students studying in class 8, 9, 10, 11th or 12th. The IUQM is a challenging examination. This examination is very, very tough. Believe me, if I talk about the difficulty of IUQM, it is tougher than even JE advance. And the toughness increases when you think that a 9th class or 10th grader is actually appearing for this examination. This exam is same for class 8, 9, 10, 11th and 12th. There are no different examinations. It is a single paper which is of the level higher than JE Advanced, which speak volumes about the difficulty. So, uh, what does it test? Mathematical aptitude, logical reasoning and problem solving skills. The syllabus for the IUQM is based on the mathematics curriculum of class 8 to class 12. So, like this is what the website says. But I know the difficulty of this paper. This paper consists of many non-routine concepts which actually are based on NCRT curriculum only. But the diversity, the thought process which is required to solve those papers cannot be found in NCRT. So, we will talk in detail about that also. So, let us talk about the stages of IM. Like I told you, IUQM is the first stage. So, let us deep dive into the details of IUQM. So, stages of IMO, first stage, Indian Olympiad Qualifier in Mathematics, that is IUQM. It is roughly being conducted in the month of October or the first week of November. Total duration is 3 hours, total marks 100, number of questions are 24. Out of these 24 questions, the current pattern, actually this changes every year. But the current pattern is, first 10 questions are of 2 marks followed by 12 questions of 5 marks and the last two questions are of 10 marks. Last two questions are of a very higher difficulty and are equivalent to RMO level which has been abolished. RMO used to be the first stage of International Mathematics Olympiad but now it has been 
abolished. Paper pattern, the answer to each question is an integer in the range of 0, 0 to 99. So it is an integer based examination. There is no negative marking in this. The top performing students in the IOQM exam are selected for the second stage of the selection process. Now the good part is, there are two good parts about this examination. First, it is of the national level. Everywhere, the paper is going to be the same. Usually, the timings are 10 to 1 p.m. But the second good part is, you get selection at the state level. So, there is quota for each and every state or region, I would say. For example, in the, like Bihar is divided in two regions, North Bihar and South Bihar. North Bihar will have its own seats. South Bihar will have its own seats. The eligibility for any student to clear this examination is 20%. If a student gets less than 20 marks, he will not be able to get selected even if there are seats. Now just imagine out of 100, you must be thinking that getting 20 marks must be very easy. Actually it is not. And that is why they call 20 marks as a mark for merit certificate. Imagine uh, an examination in which 20% is considered as meritorious. This is the difficulty and the beauty of IUQM examination. So once you clear the IUQM examination, you appear in the second stage which is called Indian National Mathematics Olympiad. Right? Now consider its difficulty. 4 hours, the duration is 4 hours. Number of questions only 6. It is a subjective examination. All the students who have cleared IOQM are eligible to write INMO, like it is usually called INMO, INMO. The paper pattern is each question requires detailed writing proof. So even if the question is from permutation, combination, geometry, you have to write descriptive proof for the question. Right? So this is the paper pattern for INMO. The third stage is IMOTC. It is a training camp. Now, just imagine that the stage 1 has been conducted, stage 2 has been conducted. Few students will be selected at the Indian level, at the national level to represent country at APMO, IMO and EGMO. These are the three examinations for which IMOTC usually happens. So, the IMOTC is a training camp for selected students. The camp is conducted by the Homi Bhabha Center for Science Education and aims to train students for the International Mathematics Olympiad. It is actually orientation come selection camp, right? So, out of 35-40 students which are selected for this camp, the students are selected to represent India. I have been there and it is a very, very nice experience. I was selected for the Chemistry Olympiad camp. So, in 2008, I got INCH gold medal and actually went to the Homi Bhabha campus to train for the international level. The fourth stage is the PDT, which is called Pre-Departure Training Camp. So, this camp is for those students who have now been shortlisted to represent India. For IMO, these are six students. These six students are trained before going to the international level. International level happens at one of the countries, one of the member countries. For example, at one point of time, this examination happened in Netherlands. So, before going to Netherlands, the students are called to Mumbai. They train there for 10 to 12 days and then go to Netherlands. So, uh, and then, then the last stage is IM. But only six students are getting to the international level. The selection ratio is extremely thin. Then why would you study this examination? Actually, it helps students in other examinations also. Which other examinations? The career examinations. If, the, if you are an IUQM aspirant in class 8 to 10th, your chances of getting good marks in JEE Main and Advanced is very high. In last 5 years, JEE Main and Advanced have distinctly, distinctly increased the level of mathematics in all the shifts. Like JEE Main is a multi-shift examination, right? All the shifts are very difficult when it comes to mathematics. 
new non routine topics are being included in the syllabus which used to be there in the olympiad examination these type of questions are now coming in jee main and advanced then if you want to pursue career in mathematics if you want to study in cmi right or isi indian statistical institute then iuqm preparation helps because in these examinations the topics which are covered in iuqm are also covered in the examinations for isi even in some state examinations like wbje west bengal jee the topics of iuqm specifically algebra and some parts of geometry are covered the iuqm examination preparation also helps in other science olympiads like astronomy olympiad in the first stage of astronomy olympiad around 40% of mathematics is coming and out of those around 32 questions 8 to 9 questions are from iuqm curriculum for international studies so mathematics is uniform across the nation across the globe i would say and just like india has iuqm then inmo us has aime usamo britain britain has bmo so these examinations the achievement in these examinations are of the international level and if you talk about any examination any entrance examination for international studies like uh, uh, if we talk about post graduate studies also gmat gre they have some mathematical aptitude paper which are also part of iuqm curriculum so this is the benefit in other examination let's talk about the benefit in career i remember when i was giving my job interview i was asked questions on problem solving there was one question from pigeon hole principle now pigeon hole principle is not in je curriculum it is in the curriculum of olympiad right so php we call it php so pigeon hole principle the problem solving aptitude which you develop through studying for iuqm is directly asked in the job interviews for specifically for finance jobs then it helps in developing critical thinking and problem solving like i said helps in career related to data analytics and statistics so you must be hearing about big data machine learning artificial intelligence these are all data driven sciences and every data driven sciences need problem solving aptitude critical thinking and what if this type of critical thinking this type of critical thinking is covered in iuqm actually it is covered in iuqm and you are going to get it if you prepare for iuqm thoroughly right so now okay we are we have talked about iuqm how do we, how do we study for it there are ample amount of free resources on youtube my complete course is there right on olympiad corner channel you can see uh, see it for yourself there there are two type of playlist around 100 video playlist in which you can study uh, thoroughly completely there are crash courses if you just want to refine your studies uh, if i if i talk about the books then one of the book is pathfinder for iuqm uh, it is perhaps the only direct book for iuqm examination and then like i said there are related examinations amc 8 amc 10 amc 12 and aime these all these are american examination let me tell you one more thing if you appear for these examination indian students are eligible to appear till aime if you appear for these examinations these the certificate in these examinations will help you in cracking any us university because these are us examinations they greatly recognize all these examinations right now if i talk about what are the differences in the syllabus of iuqm as compared to ncert as compared to uh, je main and advance see like the the mathematics is usually composed of geometry algebra number theory combinatorics now je main advance ncert cover some part of these things but iuqm iuqm or i would say inmo or even imo covers the whole part of it 
right? So the diversity of problems is way more in IUQM. So a proper different curriculum is required to study for IUQM. And if you are not well versed with this curriculum, you can directly blindly follow the first two resources. After finishing this book and seeing all the lectures, uh, like this book has all the solutions as well. So if you attempt any problem and you are stuck in one, one of the problem, you can go for this. Uh, you can go for the solutions. And then you can attempt AIME PYQs. Usually it is seen around 3-4 problems every year in IUQM are inspired by the previous year papers of these examinations. So I hope, I hope you have understood the detail, the, de the complete detailing of IUQM examination. And now you must be ready to appear for IUQM. My strong suggestion to all the aspirants of J main or advanced, if you are in class 8 to 10th, go for this examination. At least spend one year in preparation of IUQM. You will thank me when you start your class 11th. Let's crack it. <laughs>